While Daddy is weeding in the garden, Musti and Mommy are playing. It's your turn, Musti. And kick. <laughs> well yeah. done, Musti won. <laughs> That'll do for now. I'm going to cook dinner. You go and ask Mr. Rabbit if he wants to play with you. No, no. I'll go and help Daddy now. Daddy, can I help you in the garden? Of course you can. The flowers and the bushes could use some water. Great! That's the perfect job for me. There we go. Let's get started. Thanks for the bath, Moosty. Oops! Hedgehog, did I wake you? You didn't just wake me. You gave me a bath as well. But that's all right, Moosty. That cold shower did me a world of good. Ah, I'm all refreshed. The flowers need to be refreshed too. You want to come? I'd love to, Hedgehog said. Come on, let's go that way. I like these flowers the best. Do you know what they're called, Hedgehog? I don't know their name, but I do know that they can be prickly if you're not careful. Take a look at all those spines. I think they're little hedgehog flowers. <laughs> That sounds like a good name, but they're roses. And the spines here, they're thorns. You know, I'll quickly ask Daddy if I can pick some for Mommy. Hey there! What are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting for Moosty to come back. Maybe we'll pick some flowers later. I can do that too! These flowers? Yep, Hedgehog says. But we really have to wait until Moosty comes back. I'll just pick one here. Ouch! Ow, that really hurts. I told you to wait for Moosty. Oh. Oh. What have you done? Asked Daddy. Have you been petting <laughs> Hedgehog a bit too much? No. Hedgehog <laughs> thinks that's very funny. <laughs> Oh, I know what happened, Moosty says. I think Mr. Rabbit's been grabbing the roses. I only wanted to pick one. I didn't know it was full of spines. They're not spines, they're thorns. That's right, Daddy says. I'll pick a few roses myself before any more accidents happen. <laughs> you think that's funny, do you? Daddy says, and laughs too. <laughs> Come on, let's give these roses to Mommy. Would you like to carry them? He asks Moosty. No, no, you keep them, because Mommy will be very happy to see that you got her some flowers. It's a crisp winter morning. Moosty takes a nervous look outside the window. And just look at how happy he is. The snow hasn't melted. His snowman will still be there. Moosty made a snowman with Mr. Rabbit. And every day they go check on him. Hey there! I'm here too. I ran really fast, and now I'm sweating. Oh, yeah, and the sun is shining, says Moosty. That's really nice, but it'll make the snow melt. But then our snowmen will melt, too. I don't want that to happen. 
Look, Moosty, look! He's crying! Moosty has to laugh. <laughs> yeah, he is, but they're not real tears. Those tears have come because he's melting. But can we do anything? He's standing right out in the sun! Maybe it would help if we moved our snowman to another spot, says Moosty. That's easier said than done. He'll be way too heavy to carry for us. But we won't have to carry him. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. we go. We'll put our snowman in this, and then we'll push and pull him to a better spot. So Moosty gets right to work, but it's a lot more difficult than he expected. He pushes and pulls until suddenly... Careful, Moosty! Our snowman is going to fall apart. We'll have to move him piece by piece, says Moosty. There's no other way to do it. He's much too heavy. Moosty carefully lifts the snowman piece by piece onto the little cart. And naturally the old hat and the broom and the carrot have to go too. I know a good spot at the end of the garden, under that big tree. Yeah, this is a really good spot, nods Mr. Rabbit. The sun can't shine on him here. And so the snowman is put back together again and dressed. We're done! Now it's time to say goodbye. Moosty goes home to his mommy and daddy, and Mr. Rabbit goes back to his burrow. The next morning, Mr. Rabbit is already waiting for his friend. They're both very anxious because most of the snow has melted. I think our snowman might have melted too. Beneath the tree, there's a big pool of water, and floating in it are the old hat, the broom, and the carrot. That's too bad our snowman melted away. But look, his nose is still here. Now I can finally get to eat it. <laughs> yeah, now you can eat it, laughs Moosty. I hope it still tastes all right. It's already quite cold, and a chilly wind is blowing. It's autumn. Moosty is bundling up nice and warm to go for a walk. It's really cold now. Leaves are swirling and dancing down to the ground. Is Mr. Rabbit home? Who's there? It's me, Mr. Rabbit. Moosty! Hi, Moosty! What's going on? Nothing special. I was just wondering, do you feel like going for a walk? Wait a minute. Let me get a carrot to eat on the way. I'll be back. When the sun comes out a little later, Moosty and Mr. Rabbit really appreciate its warm rays. <laughs> Look, Mr. Rabbit, the birds are leaving. Leaving? Where are they going? To a place that's warmer than here. It's going to be winter soon and much too cold for these birds. When it snows, they can't find any food. I like to play in the snow. And my burrow is already filled with carrots and turnips for the winter. That's right. 
Some animals do collect food for the winter. Squirrels collect acorns. And Miss Hedgehog collects apples for her and her little ones. Oh yeah, Miss Tortoise sleeps throughout the winter under the ground. So the birds fly away? Look, Moosty! Then I guess that bird must be lost. Hello, little bird. Are you lost? No, not at all. Why do you ask? Because you're here all by yourself. Shouldn't you be flying away somewhere that's nice and warm like the other birds? No, I'm not going with them. It's much too far for me. So this year I'm just going to stay here. I see, but you do know it's going to be winter soon. Of course I know it's going to be winter. So what? Well, during winter it snows. And then you can't find any food? There's nothing growing in the fields. And all the berries have fallen off the trees. No berries anymore? No food at all? But then I'll be hungry. You certainly will. Hungry and thirsty. Because when it's that cold, all the water turns to ice. Very cold and as hard as stone. You won't be able to break it with your beak. But that's terrible. Terrible? It's chilling. <laughs> and where will you sleep? Your nest will be freezing and you'll be covered in snow. At night, it'll be so cold that you'll be shivering and shaking and you might even freeze yourself. Is that all true? Yes, little bird. It's always like that during the winter. In that case, I'm not staying here. I'm going to fly with the other birds to a place where it's warmer. Goodbye. See you next spring. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next spring. We did that little bird a big favor, Moosty. That's right, Mr. Rabbit, we certainly did. If you give me a kiss, I'll give you a golden ball, croaks the ugly frog. A kiss? But you're an ugly frog, says the princess shocked. No kiss, no ball, says the frog crossly. And so, the princess gives the frog a tender kiss, and the ugly frog turns into a handsome prince. The princess and the prince immediately fall in love, and they live happily ever after. What a lovely story, Moosty! Yes, I wish I could kiss a handsome prince someday. That only happens in fairy tales! Ah! And fairy tales don't really exist. Don't you believe in fairy tales, Mr. Rabbit? No, of course I don't. Fairy tales are silly. Fairy tales are for girls. I'm going back to my burrow. Bye. Shall we get Mr. Rabbit to believe in fairy tales, Laura? Yes, but how, Moosty? Well, we'll just... Silly fairy tales. Hello, handsome prince. Who said that? I did! Handsome Prince, me, the good fairy! Why did you call me Handsome Prince? I'm a rabbit! No, no! You're a handsome prince, but you don't need to realize it yet. If you kiss a tortoise, you'll change into a handsome prince. That's impossible! That sort of thing only happens in fairy tales. But this isn't a fairy tale. This is real. Find a lady tortoise and give her a kiss quickly. Really? Well, then I'm going to hurry off and find Miss Tortoise. <gasps> Miss Tortoise! Miss Tortoise! I'm a prince. You a prince? You're a rabbit. I am now. But if I give you a kiss, I'll turn into a handsome prince. Can I give you a kiss? 
No! I don't want a kiss from a rabbit! Come on, Miss Tortoise, please! It's only a kiss! No! Go away! I don't want to! Just one kiss, please! No! What happened, handsome prince? Didn't it work? In that case, you better kiss a hedgehog. That works, too. Kissing a hedgehog works, too? I know Miss Hedgehog. I'll go see her straight away. <laughs> Silly Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, Miss Hedgehog. Can I give you a kiss? A kiss? Why? Because then I'll become a handsome prince. A prince can kiss me, but not a rabbit. Okay. Give me a kiss. But, Miss Hedgehog, I can't give you a kiss with all of those spines. Didn't it work again, handsome prince? In that case, you'll have to kiss a frog. Quickly, to the pond! <laughs> that silly Mr. Rabbit. 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 Ah, I found one! Here's a frog! Rabbit. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Do you want something? Ribbit. Yes, my dear frog friend. Can I give you a kiss? A kiss? Ribbit. Why? Because then I'll become a handsome prince. You a handsome prince? Mr. Rabbit, do you still believe in fairy tales? But this isn't a fairy tale. This is real. Come on, frog. Let me kiss you. No way. Ribbit. <laughs> Hey, frog! Isn't it working, handsome prince? I thought you didn't believe in fairy tales, Mr. Rabbit. Moosty, it's you? So I'm not really a handsome prince. No, but you are the funniest <laughs> rabbit who ever was. <laughs> yes, and you can give us all a kiss. <laughs> it's been raining for days. There are big puddles everywhere. But Moosty doesn't mind. With his new rain boots, he can splash through one puddle after another. Oh no, Mr. Rabbit, what happened here? Can't you tell? My whole burrow is flooded. Everything is soaked. Can I do something to help? Of course you can, Moosty. There's Mr. Dog. Moosty, Miss Tortoise is in trouble. Miss Tortoise? What kind of trouble? The rain has washed away the little bridge over the stream, and now she can't get home. Really? Let's see if we can help. Hey, Moosty, what about my burrow? We'll get to that later, Mr. Rabbit. Come along with us. All right, wait for me. Miss Tortoise is standing beside the stream. She can't get to the other side. But luckily, help has arrived. Miss Tortoise, how did you get over there? I went to the farm to seek shelter from the rain. But now the bridge is gone. I can't get across the stream. Why don't you swim across, Miss Tortoise? Mr. Rabbit, I'm a tortoise. I can't swim. What can we do, Moosty? Asks Mr. Dog. Moosty thinks deeply. I know. We'll build a new bridge. A new bridge? But, Moosty, only your daddy and Farmer Giles can do that. You're way too small. Not at all. Come on, Mr. Dog. I'll need your help. Mr. Rabbit will stay here with Miss Tortoise. Okay, Mr. Dog, pull! Good, let's get back to the stream. We're back, Miss Tortoise. Moosty, why didn't you bring a boat? You can't get across in that cart. No, but we can build a bridge with this plank, Mr. Rabbit. Come and help us move it. Watch out, Miss Tortoise! 
We're going to drop the plank across the stream. One, two, three. Ah. All right. We did that really well, huh, Moosty? Yeah. Come on, Miss Tortoise. You can cross now. Are you sure this plank is strong enough? It looks a little wobbly. Yes, of course. Come on, nice and slow. Don't be scared, Miss Tortoise. You're almost there. Oh, I made it. That was really, really scary. What do you mean, really scary? Anyone can cross a plank. Look, watch me. Hey. Oh no, Mr. Rabbit, what are you doing? Are you all right? I, uh, I just wanted to see if this water was as wet as the water in my burrow. <laughs> Funny bunny, you gave us quite a scare. Silly Mr. Rabbit. Now you're here safe and sound, Miss Tortoise. Come on, we'll bring you home. Let's go, Mr. Rabbit. You jump on the cart, too. And now we'll fix your burrow so it's nice and dry. The circus is leaving Moosty's town. When Bongo the chimp passes by Moosty's house, he waves. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bongo. See you next year. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss the circus, too. A year is a really long time. But we don't have to wait a year. We can create our own circus. Do you want to help, Sam? Yeah, of course. But how? We don't have any wild animals, and we don't have a funny chimp. Don't worry, it's going to be a great circus. Just you wait and see. Later that day, Mr. Moosty's circus has finally arrived in the garden. Mommy, Daddy, and Marie are waiting impatiently for the first show. Laura and Belle are sitting in the front row. There's Moosty, the circus ringmaster. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Moosty's Circus. Let's give a big round of applause for our first act, the Native Americans. <laughs> and now, this is very difficult on one leg. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Rabbit. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, now here comes Sam and his fierce tiger. <laughs> hey, Sam, where's your tiger? My tiger? Come on, tiger. Where are you? Suddenly, Mr. Dog appears. He's painted like a tiger. Here, tiger, lie down. Don't be scared, Belle. It's only a circus. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep very quiet. Here comes the great Tiger Leap. All right, jump, Tiger. Come on, jump. You can do it. Jump, Tiger. Oh, well done, Mr. Dog. That was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't be scared. The Tiger is now going to roar very loudly. Tiger. Roar as loud as you can, order Sam. Arf, arf. <laughs> Everyone laughs at Mr. Dog's joke. <laughs> Moosty finds it funny, too. <laughs> Mr. Dog and Sam are now roaring with laughter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
I also have a little surprise for each of you in my magic hat. Here we are, a delicious bone for Belle. Oh. Oh, thank you, Moosty. Something sweet for Laura. Oh. <laughs> And flowers for the mommies. Thank you very much, Ringmaster Moosty. Oh, thanks. And later on, Daddy will get his hat back. And then I'll conjure up a tasty treat for all the circus performers. Bravo for Mr. Moosty's circus. Bravo. Thank you, everyone, for your applause. And we hope to see you next year at Mr. Moosty's circus. Thank you. Thank you. Moosty is going for a walk. It's a little chilly. But then again, it's autumn. Look, the trees are almost bare, and the last remaining leaves flutter gently to the ground. Moosty! Moosty! It's Mr. Rabbit. Moosty, I just saw Miss Tortoise, and I don't think she's feeling very well. Then I'll go see her right away says Moosty. I'll run ahead of you, shouts Mr. Rabbit. You gotta hurry, she's acting really strange. <sighs> when Moosty reaches Miss Tortoise, he doesn't see anything unusual. She's just eating, and she seems to be enjoying it. What did I tell you, says Mr. Rabbit. She's been acting like that for two days. All she does is eat, eat, eat. Moosty steps a little closer, but Miss Tortoise continues eating. Well, I don't see anything wrong. You think it's normal that she's been eating non-stop for two days? Says Mr. Rabbit. There's something else. She keeps yawning. Just then, Miss Tortoise looks up for a moment. Oh, it's you. <sighs> Are you feeling okay? Asks Moosty. Yes, yes, Miss Tortoise nods. Oh, why do you ask? Mr. Rabbit said you've been acting really strange. I haven't been acting strange at all. Oh, yawns Miss Tortoise. I'm just getting ready for winter. Oh. We tortoises have to eat lots and lots of nutritious food before we start our winter sleep. Oh yeah, that's right. You hibernate. I forgot all about that. So where are you going to spend this winter? Asks Moosty. I'm not sure. I'll look for a nice warm spot where it's quiet and dry. <sighs> you finish eating. I'll find a place for you. I won't be long, says Moosty. Moosty looks all over. But either the ground is too damp, or there are far too many stones and boulders. Disappointed, he makes his way back and finds his smiling friend waiting for him. I've got good news, she says. You don't have to look anymore. Mr. Rabbit said I can have my winter sleep in his burrow. <sighs> Isn't that nice of him? Oh, I better be going. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Bye! That was really nice of you to help her, says Moosty to Mr. Rabbit. Well, there's plenty of room in my burrow. Come on, let's go see if everything is in order. <sighs> Mr. Rabbit jumps into his burrow and hops back out again. Is she all right? Asks Moosty. She's sleeping like a log, but she's snoring like thunder. I won't get any sleep all winter. Sleep is very important to me. What will you do now? Asks Moosty. I'll just have to dig a new burrow, Mr. Rabbit moans, and immediately starts digging. Well, then I better let you finish that. See you tomorrow. A little farther, Moosty turns around for a moment. And look, Mr. Rabbit's new burrow is almost finished. 
He'll be sleeping soundly tonight, too. Mommy! Mommy! Wait for me! I want to help you! <laughs> too late, smiles Mommy. The laundry is already on the line. What about this here? You've forgotten something. Look, Mommy. You stepped on it. It will have to be washed again. Can I do it, please? You can rinse it clean with a little water, says Mommy. But Moosty wants to wash it properly with laundry detergent. Here we go. This will get it really clean. There, now it can go on the laundry line. While Moosty is walking over to his mommy, Miss Tortoise arrives. Oh dear me, I'm terribly thirsty. She puffs. Then she sees a bowl of water and greedily gulps it down. So greedily that she doesn't even notice that the water has a funny taste. A little later, she also starts feeling rather funny and she quickly pulls her head back into her shell. Just at that moment, Moosty returns. Hello, Miss Tortoise, he says. Oh, maybe she's asleep. How odd, the bowl is empty. There must be a hole in it. A hole? Which hole? Hi, Mr. Rabbit. Well, I can't find it. I can't see a hole anywhere. Maybe Mommy poured out all the water. Uh, Miss Tortoise is also here, says Mr. Rabbit. Wakey, wakey! Huh? And then our friends suddenly see a big bubble coming out of Miss Tortoise's shell. Followed by a pale and sad little head. <sighs> What's the matter? Asks Moosty. I don't feel very well at all. Miss Tortoise whines. And I don't know why. I only drank what was in this bowl. <sighs> Then you just drank a bowl of soapy water, says Moosty. That explains why you're not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. Not at all, Moosty. Mm. Mr. Rabbit thinks it's rather funny. <laughs> Come on. Miss Tortoise isn't feeling well. We have to look after her. You're right. I'll make it up to her. Miss Tortoise can come and stay with me until she's feeling better. <laughs> That's an excellent idea, says Moosty. We're here. I hope you get well soon, Miss Tortoise. Thank you very much. Hiccups, Miss Tortoise. Daddy says you should never drink anything if you don't know what it is. I'll never do that again, says Miss Tortoise. <gasps> Everything will be fine, says Mr. Rabbit. I'll take very good care of her. See ya. Well, in that case, I better be getting home. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Moosty really hopes Miss Tortoise will soon be rid of her soap bubbles. <laughs>